the two giants of the banking space, ICICI Bank and HDFC Bank are battling it out to stay at the numero uno position. Quarter after quarter, ICICI Bank has been threatening the leadership of HDFC Bank as the former reported steady earnings growth. Even during the March quarter, the earnings of ICICI Bank beat market estimates while those of the HDFC Bank missed them. It comes as no surprise then that analysts cut their target prices on HDFC Bank post results while upgraded or maintained their targets on ICICI Bank. Going forward, analysts believe that steady growth delivery, strong asset quality, and low credit costs will help ICICI Bank deliver low risk returns with consistent earnings per share compounding. Let's go to independent market analyst Ajay Bhotke to have a better understanding of what's ticking for ICICI Bank. Quarterly numbers of ICICI uh, clearly exhibit uh, uh, strong execution. um in terms of growth in key mat- uh, matrix ni growth uh nims asset quality uh whereas i think if you look at hdfc bank i think uh, the growth has been the growth continues to be lackluster uh they will i think the uh, the body blow that uh, the bank had received uh, uh due to the ban on launch of digital products for more than a year i think the bank is making an attempt to claw back but it is work in progress that said there are few metrics that investors need to watch out for in both the banks to decide the winner if the economy were to slow down significantly due to uh uh a uh, tightening by global central banks a uh, continuation of fii outflows and uh, 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 significantly high inflationary pressures uh, especially impacting the uh, 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 market as vulnerable as india because of uh, dependence on crude oil imports edible oil imports fertilizer imports i think uh, we have to keep a close watch on the emerging trends in retail asset uh, uh, uh npls and this will be true for both icici and hdfc because you know uh, if you see over the last few years the growth in wholesale banking assets has been tepid the growth has mainly been picked up uh, on the retail asset front now uh, if it is a retail if it's a short retail asset like mortgages i think the npl levels are uh, quite manageable but for those franchises that have grown unsecured retail assets aggressively namely personal loans credit cards um auto loans i think a slowdown could uh, sort of you know uh, uh, hold a nasty surprise in terms of a per cup in the uh, uh, nps there uh, so that is something we we'll, we'll like to closely watch for both uh, icici and uh, uh, and um, hdfc but i think because icici has gained aggressively market share uh, because of the inability of hdfc to launch digital products that is something that we we'll have to keep a watch from an investment view point analysts see 45% upside in hdfc bank and 42% upside in icici bank from a one year perspective while mk global opines that icici bank can maintain its outperformance over hdfc bank if it sustains its core performance and realizes top management premium Nomura believes that tailwinds of improving NIM which had helped net interest income and pre-provision profit growth in FY22 is likely at its peak for ICICI Bank. Those at JP Morgan also caution that ICICI Bank's re-rating potential has largely played out with the lender's valuation gap with HDFC Bank almost nil. Overall, ICICI Bank appears well placed to remain in the driver's seat within the banking pack from a near-term perspective as HDFC Bank faces de-rating and slowdown in growth. On Tuesday, investors will closely follow global cues for market direction. Besides volatility is expected to rise ahead of the monthly FNO expiry. Among individual shares, AU Small Finance Bank, Bajaj Finance and HDFC Life will be the key companies to announce their March quarter results. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.